President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has filed a criminal complaint against Cumhuri yet editor-in-chief Ken Dundar on the grounds that Dundar published a video that includes images and information contrary to facts, even as a number of journalists and press advocacy bodies at home and abroad showed solidarity with Dundar on Tuesday. Erdogan's legal counsel Muammar Simololo submitted the petition to the Ankara Chief Public Prosecutor's Office on Tuesday, claiming that Dundar took part in a crime committed by parallel state members who intercepted MT trucks unlawfully by publishing a fake video recording which was leaked by the parallel state to Dundar to depict the Turkish state as assisting some terrorist groups. However, the Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, has condemned Erdogan's legal threats against Dundar after Cumhuri yet published photos showing Turkey's intelligence agency sending weapons to Syria, calling on the president not to oppress the media over coverage that he does not like. We call on Recep Tayyip Erdogan to stop bullying journalists and news outlets such as Ken Dundar and Cumhuri yet just because he doesn't like what they report, CPJ Europe and Central Asia Program Coordinator Nina Onianova said in an article released on the CPJ's website on Tuesday. The president's statements have often served as cues for Turkish prosecutors to initiate punitive legal action against the government's critics. Erdogan personally threatened Dundar during a live interview broadcast on the state-run TRT Haber news station on Sunday night, saying he had filed a lawsuit against Dundar and vowing that the editor-in-chief will pay a heavy price for his actions. I won't let him go unpunished, Erdogan said on the live broadcast. In a headline story last Friday, Cumhuri yet published images from a video in an investigation file proving that National Intelligence Organization, MT, trucks had carried weapons, contradicting the government's earlier claim that they were only carrying humanitarian aid to Turkmens in war-torn Syria. Erdogan, who claimed that the daily's sole aim in publishing the report on the trucks operated by MT was to tarnish Turkey's image, accused Cumhuri yet of being involved in spying because it published the report. In its article, the CPJ also voiced its concern about an investigation opened against Dundar by a public prosecutor, saying, Turkey's vague terrorism and penal laws are frequently used by authorities to punish critical journalists, CPJ research shows. Upon the publication of the story, the Stanbul Chief Prosecutor's Office quickly launched an investigation into Dundar, the author of the report, for breaching counter-terrorism laws. Stanbul Public Prosecutor Rufin Fiden, who is overseeing the investigation, also asked the court to issue a gag order on all publications that feature photos or videos from the investigation file that displays the search of the cargo in the intercepted trucks. He claimed the leak harms the national security of Turkey and taints the international reputation of the government. Fiden, who the government is believed to have tasked with derailing critical probes incriminating President Erdogan and his family members and associates, previously ordered the detention of the 34 military officers who intercepted the trucks. Half of these officers were later arrested by the court. The CPJ underlined that Erdogan, while formerly as prime minister and currently as president, has led an anti-press campaign, personally filing defamation lawsuits against journalists, publicly lashing out against critics, and pressuring news organizations to rein in critical staffers. These actions have sown widespread self-censorship as news outlets and their journalists, fearful of financial, professional or legal reprisals, shy away from sensitive topics, CPJ research shows. RSF calls on Erdogan to stop threatening journalists over Syrian arms report. The world's leading press advocacy body, Reporters Without Borders, RSF, has also called on President Erdogan to stop threatening journalists and interfering in the judiciary, voicing support for the Cumhuriyet daily. Condemning the Turkish government's pressure on Cumhuriyet, the RSF voiced concern over Erdogan's threats to Dundar. We call on the president to stop threatening the media and stop meddling in the judicial system, and we call on the Istanbul prosecutor's office to immediately abandon its prosecutions, said Johan Beer the head of the RSF's Eastern Europe and Central Asia desk. The Turkish government's Syria policy is an important topic that the Turkish public must be able to debate. The public has a right to know whether its government has delivered arms, and to whom. If the government now finds itself with its back to the wall, 
it cannot blame Kumhura yet, which just did its job, he added. The Green Party in Germany has described the increasing pressure on the media in Turkey as worrying, urging the European Union to issue a stern rebuke to Ankara over deteriorating human rights and democratic values in the country. The recent developments in Turkey are worrying. The Turkish president criticizes foreign press representatives and prominent Turkish journalists in the country are threatened. It is essential for a democratic state of law to ensure free media coverage. However, the government in Turkey seems far away from this, Green Party media and politics spokesperson Tabi Rosner said in an interview with today's Zeman on Tuesday. Mentioning that Turkey now ranks among countries with the highest number of imprisoned journalists, Rosner said the continuing crackdown on critical media results in self-censorship by most of the media in the country, something that is against the values of an EU country. According to Rosner, the European Union should step up its criticism of Turkey. Europe must insist that the Turkish government respect human rights and democratic values, she said. Prosecutors launched a terrorism investigation into Dundar on Friday hours after the Daily published the photos of arms which it said were transferred to Syria in trucks operated by MT. Dundar is now among a number of people under investigation on charges of membership in a terrorist organization, coup attempt, and political and military espionage, according to the Al Jazeera Turk website. The trucks in question were intercepted by gendarmes on two occasions in January 2014 after prosecutors received tip-offs that they were illegally carrying arms to Syria. There have been allegations that the arms were going to extremist groups fighting against the Syrian regime. Ankara, on the other hand, insisted that the trucks were carrying aid to Syrian Turkmens and branded their interception as an act of treason and espionage. The photos, published on the Daily's front page, show steel containers filled with mortar shells and ammunition underneath boxes of medicine. The Daily also published a video showing the containers on trucks being opened and searched by gendarmes. Come Hura yet said the truck's cargo included 1,000 shells, 1,000 mortar shells, 50,000 machine gun bullets and 30,000 heavy weapons bullets. Dundar showed great journalism. In addition to the support given by leading press organizations around the world, local journalists have also spoken up for Dundar. Bugun editor-in-chief Erhan Basi Yurt told today's Zaman Dundar displayed great journalism by publishing the video footage of trucks that were allegedly loaded with weapons. Instead of accusing him of treason for what he revealed, Dundar should be awarded for his triumph. He contributed to the issue of those MT trucks being cleared up. If the video showing those weapons is authentic and Turkey indeed sent weapons to groups fighting in Syria, then the government should explain it, Basi Yurt said. Making a statement on behalf of Come Hurriyet, columnist Aiden Engine accused Erdogan of engaging in cruelty to journalists in an effort to cover up his own offenses, adding, a journalist's job is to reveal the dirty business of the state, otherwise, it is not called journalism. Some governments whose offences are exposed by journalists resort to cruelty to hush up these offences. Since there is no law that binds those who are powerful, life turns out to be more difficult for journalists.